Some people say that God's strongest soldiers go through the most challenges in life. No doubt about it, I've been through some heartache in my life. I hope God is proud of me now because at some points in life, I thought I was going to break, but I didn't. And I'm so grateful for that. My name is Brooklyn Smith and this is my story. I was born in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. And I was born into an LDS family where we believed in God, the Eternal Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. I'm so grateful to be born in that kind of world. But the first five years of my life, I was in Arizona and I don't remember it very well. I have both my parents and four older brothers, Judd, Porter, Mason, and Lincoln, in that order from oldest to youngest. In elementary school, I was considered an oddity. I was known for being the only girl in an all-guy friend group, and I only had one best friend who was a girl. Her name was Michaela. I remember standing quietly in the water fountain line at playtime, staring blankly at the wall in the back of the room where I could draw in peace. But I was never afraid to stand up for what I believed in, even in elementary school. I spent my elementary school experience in Hecathorn Elementary School. And from ever since I could remember, I love to draw. My passion has always been drawing, crafting, painting, creating, and especially creating storylines that were built up through my entire life. And I have over 50 art notebooks to prove it. I spent seven years of my life in Las Vegas, growing, getting baptized, reading, drawing, etc. Until sixth grade started. Every friend I had in elementary school seemed to leave. I went to a STEM school. And it started going really downhill when people started to bully me. My depression was horrible, and the single thing in the back of my mind kept telling me that if I wasn't like everybody else, I would be terrible. But there was always one person that stood by me, even at my worst. Michaela. She was truly an angel, and my best friend forever. I honestly don't know how she handled me in sixth grade on how I acted and how I was, but I just really want to thank her for still being there for me. My dad ended up getting a job offer to go to Columbus, Ohio, and I realized I was about to lose everything I ever knew in Vegas. It felt like my heart was bleeding, and the only reason I wanted to leave was because of that stupid STEM school where everybody seemed to hate me. But we did. And my seventh grade year was spent in Worthington, Ohio, where the school was the wolves. But everything just seemed to get worse. And the worst thing was is that I thought it was because my first pet, Chiana, died. The only way I could cope with this is drawing. Only at 3 a.m., though. I ended up figuring out and creating some of my most interesting characters at this stage of my life. I created villains and monsters and sometimes heroes with traumatic backstories. It was all of that. And it helped me. It was a coping mechanism, but it didn't last long. It wasn't long before I started having terrible thoughts of ending my life. Jumping in front of a bus. Screenshotting things to a train station. I was in a horrific spot. And then that's when I found God. God sent my mother to find out about my mental problems. And I'm so grateful that he did, because he knew I wasn't able to do it by myself. My mother got me help by the time I started 8th grade, with a therapist named Jennifer, who happened to be LDS like we were. And that was a blessing in of itself, that I'm so grateful for God, that God did that. And then I started 8th grade in a new school, Johnstown, Ohio. But the bullying everywhere was horrible. I prefer not to mention why they bullied me, but I will admit that some of it was my fault. But that gives no one an excuse to hurt someone mentally or physically because they made a mistake. We all make mistakes and that doesn't give someone the excuse to be mean. Everyone is human, so don't think it's okay to bully your fellow human beings because you think you're better than them because you're not. The fact that you think it's cool to hurt others makes you weird and sadistic. I got help from my therapist Jennifer, and then something ended up clicking in my soul. Everything that I am, every fact that I gained the courage to do, To talk to somebody was because of God. He was helping me throughout my entire life, healing me. And I didn't realize that until I gave him my soul. My everything. I still draw. My passion is always drawing. And I'm so grateful for God for that wonderful gift. He gave me the courage to talk about my feelings with my parents. And he gave me the courage to stay alive. I thank him so much because now my joy is found 
in Jesus Christ. He was there for me to bring me joy, and even when I was in pain or when I felt completely betrayed, he was still there. He never betrayed me. His hand was always held out to me, even in my darkest moments. I still struggle from depression and anxiety. I am medically diagnosed to have these disorders, but I'm still okay. I still feel God's love, and I know I'm not perfect. I never will be, and I still make mistakes. But I know that through God's mercy, that I can be forgiven for my mistakes. And I can always fix. I can always fix them. My heart has never been better. And because of God, I am kind to everybody around me. I strive to love others because Jesus Christ loved others. And I strive to be kind to everybody because Jesus was kind to everybody. I pray every day, every night, and I'm so thankful. Nowadays, I have never been more faithful. <sighs> My heart has never been more healed from his love, and I have never been more happy. Faith over fear is what I <clears throat> learned the most from my experience. In life and on this journey. And, you know, sometimes I don't even want to get out of bed in the morning. But that's okay. Because no one is perfect. He has changed my life for the better. His love and example makes me a better and stronger person. I have never been better than where I am now in high school. I still have people who don't like me, and I still make mistakes. But that's okay because I know God will lead me through my trials. My passion is still art, and every character I have shows a piece of my past that made me stronger. I thank God for my heart and imagination, and I thank Him for the skill where I can draw and express everything on paper. I have brand new friends in Ohio, and I still talk to Michaela. She is still there for me. Heck, nowadays I'm in a relationship. I never thought that would happen. I am mended by God's love, and I'm so very grateful to him for my imagination. Like I said before, each character shows a part of me from my past. Coral, Tiana, Dream Hunter, Arrow, Hate, Rage even, my villains, my heroes, everything. I'm grateful to him because I am good at expressing my feelings through art. And you know, to end, God's strongest soldiers go through the most pain to make them as strong as they can be to fight the evil in their lives and to help those around them. I wish to end with words of encouragement to all who have gone through pain, mental or physical, to never give up on hope. You've probably heard that before, but just know it's true. No one is ever truly broken, so keep going. Keep trying. You will make it. And just know that God will always have his hand and his love stretched out towards you. All you have to do is ask, and he will, he will answer. My name is Brooklyn Smith, and that was my story. And I hope you enjoy me coloring the rest of my characters. Because I could really talk about them all day. Seriously, come up to me. I will tell you everything. But yeah, thanks for watching.